welcome back to my channel returning and new viewers today i want to show you how to clean your oven without stress now i'm going to be using baking soda this is it just a cup measurement also going to be using lemon i'm substituting um vinegar for lemon because it have the same acidic um content i've been using it over the years and it has been working perfectly well that's what keeps my oven very very neat though my oven is neat right now but i just want to show you i how i've been keeping it this clean for over the years now i'm taking two spoon two teaspoons of um lemon juice and i'll be putting it into the baking soda which i'm doing right now please if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit on subscribe thank you um now this is the reaction from adding um your lemon juice to your baking soda so i'm going to be using my gloves to do the mixture because you don't um looking at the reaction alone will tell you it's kind of um acidic in nature so protecting yourself i think it's necessary for one to put on gloves while doing this so i'm done with putting on my gloves then next thing i'm going to do is add three full spoons of water just to make me get the paste i want to so i'm taking something just to stay it i'm doing the mixture now you can see it it's cause a lot of um, foamy nature so i'm going to be doing a whole lot of stirring so i could bring down the foam and get the paste that i want so i'm going to take my time and do the stirring as you can see it is um the um, foam is just going down a little bit but it's going to take a little time so i have to take my own time and do a whole lot of stirring which i'm doing right now so guys how are you all doing just wait and see the reaction and the whole process you'll find it very interesting and if you keep using this method you'll find out that your oven will never get sticky with things um it will easily bring out anything that has been stuck in there for some time any substance fish a grilled fish a meat whatever that you've um, used your oven to heat it will just easily um, remove it while you use this method so i'm supposed to be using vinegar but i'm not using vinegar but i'm just trying to use all remedy things, things you can just easily get if you don't have vinegar in the house so that's what i'm going for lemon and i use it most of the times and it works really well so i have a brush in my hand that could help me spread this um, mixture around the oven already so i'm going to do it and go around the oven because most times it gets to stain even the walls of the oven so i'm um, doing all that i'm going to spread this substance around i'm going to take my time and use the brush to go around and round and round to make sure it touches every part of it so that's what i'm doing right now have you subscribed to my channel yet if you have not please subscribe to my channel if you have any question you need to ask please don't forget to leave it in the comment section so i could always give you a feedback so i'm using a brush like this so it could easily penetrate into any substance maybe your meat your fish or your baking things whatever that must have dropped in there and sometimes um we need we tend to leave it over time and it just get there and stay there and doesn't want to leave but this is just a very good method and it helps now i've been able to go all around including the walls of the 
oven so i'm covering it now i'm covering it now i didn't um touch the door and i did a video from the door so i just want to show you you can as well um spread it in the door but i'm not doing it in this video but you can as well spread it in the door as well so i left it for over five hours after which there is a wet napkin in my hand which i'm going to use in wiping everything and you see why wiping it whatever that has been stuck in there just follows the napkin the wet napkin so that's what i am doing so this is a very very good method for you to follow sometimes there are some difficult and then stubborn um substance there and it would not want to just leave immediately like without force but you have to do a little scrubbing with your napkin or better still just get the brush that you used before and just put a little little just a little pressure and it follows so that is just a way to keep your oven shiny and easy to clean now i'm still using the wet wet napkin to wipe away the make sure i use it going round the oven after which after which wiping it i still go down to the bowl there's a bowl of, bowl of water beside me just off camera where i take in my napkin squeeze it for it to be to be clean rinse it rather for it to be clean squeeze a bit and use it again for cleaning i do that couple of times while um, dry cleaning this oven now off cam camera that's what i'm doing right now i'm rinsing the napkin and um, squeezing it so i could continue my cleaning still if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so i think this is the um, third time that i'm cleaning it with a wet napkin after rinsing it so you have to do it couple of time to get a shiny result after cleaning just make sure whenever you want to do this oven cleaning you're having a free day because you have to cover it for a long time after spreading your substance you have to cover it for a long time or better still you could just do it that way spread it around if you're going to work go and when you come back you just have to do the cleaning and you see how it goes it will leave your oven shiny trust me make sure you don't leave any spot untouched go to even the hidden part and make sure you dry clean every hidden part just use the napkin to touch every corner i know you're not seeing some part right now but i'm doing my best so you could but i'm taking my time still to clean every part so i could get i could get a very good result now i am done cleaning and everything is left okay now um you could leave it to air dry by itself or if you want to dry it with the oven but i'd rather leave it to air dry itself so whatever little smell i know there is no smell but whatever little smell could just come out thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any question you could leave it and and uh comment section hit on the like thank you so much for watching